All right, haven't been able to get any other operating systems to work with Surface Pro. I've gone back through my files of old things I've tried with other computers, and I have one from about 13 years ago. It's a Windows 98, that's um, a Windows 98 image that's auto-loaded by Ghost, probably, I don't know, Ghost 5 or 6, a real old version of it. So I'm going to see what happens with that. No, not going to do it. Sees it can't use it and it goes right by it. I'm going to try a copy of um, Small Business Server 2008. Let's see what happens with that. Nope. Windows 7 made it the furthest, but it locked up before I even got to any screen where I could really choose much of anything. This machine does not want to have anything but Windows 8 on it. Maybe Linux would work. I've had no luck with any operating system here, so I, just, I found my Windows Vista installation disk. Windows Vista was not good for anything else. Maybe it will at least get me up to a screen here. I'm going to give it a try. Nope, nothing for Vista. All right, I've got a Kaspersky disk in here. That's a bootable antivirus disk for when the computer is so far gone you can't run an antivirus in Windows. <coughs> so I believe it's a version of Linux on here that runs the antivirus program. Let's see if this will start up and uh, get loaded or not. No, not that one either. This uh, I found on the internet a few years back for people who lock themselves out of their computers and they need help to get past the password, basically to erase the login password to get back into the account. It again loads a version of Linux with the, uh, and it auto runs the program for removing the password. Anyway, let's see if I can get to the startup screen for that. Holding the volume button down, pressing and releasing power. No luck. All right, search through another pile of disks, and I found my um, Vertex 4 BIOS updater disk. It's a new um, version of Linux that you use. I have a Vertex 4 drive in my desktop system, so it boots from that. If it finds a Vertex 4 drive, it checks if there's firmware update that you do that. I'm going to try that here and see. Still no. Well, I tried just about every OS I had a disk for, and I couldn't get anything to, to load very far at all on this. I, of course, turned off the secure boot control, and after that didn't work for a few attempts. I went and I saw there's a secure devices uh, control. I turned that off too, turned it on, tried all various things there. Now, my drive's not bad because as soon as Windows loads up, then it says, oh, we see you have a, a disk in the drive. What would you like to do? And I can open it. I can see the files on it. So it is seeing them. It's more, it seems to be something related to it not wanting to boot from the disk, whether it doesn't think that what's on there is going to work on it so it stops it, or it just doesn't like the format of it being bootable. The only one I had any luck with was the Windows 7, Windows 7 Professional. That did come up to say, would you like to boot from the CD or DVD, press any key, press the key, it went, uh, the bar went across the bottom, it got to where the little colored things start coming and swirling, just locked right up. So that one made it further than anything else, and it seems to indicate that it liked the, uh, the whatever it is that boots off that disk, it really liked that one. However, the dri I'm assuming it's a driver issue when it got to a certain point when the little colored lights are coming in, it's actually doing stuff in the background, of course whether it was seeing if it could access the hard drive, whether it was going to be able to work with the video card, I don't know, but it got to a certain point and they just locked. So there's an incompatibility there. And things like the OS X, of course, I really didn't expect it was going to do much, but I thought I'd get partway in. What surprised me most, I guess, was the uh, bootable Linux distribution disks. For um, there's, I have one for a Kaspersky antivirus. I have another one for doing the um, Vertex 4, OCZ Vertex 4. Um, updating the firmware, you can start the computer with that, it looks for the Vertex drive. They're just, you know, basic Linux distributions, and they're just from a few months back. We just would not boot from them. So, this has been my experience with it, and um, if, I, if I were going to continue to pursue this, which uh, I, I'm kind of tired out from it now, maybe in the future, I think what I'd have to do is take the, um, 
the ISO files and put them onto a flash drive and make it so that it would load from that. Since that's what this is really designed for, this, you know, it doesn't have its own drive, so really natively it's not supporting this. What it prefers most, even with its own recovery um, partition and recovery drive when you need to use that, is a flash drive. So I suppose I could convert these things, put them on flash drive, I might have better luck then, but I think for now I'll leave that to somebody else. Anyway, I gave it a try. Unfortunately, I have to report I wasn't able to load or get very far towards loading any other operating system on the Surface Pro.